All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome back, welcome back. We have more Dominaria Pro Tour Dominaria Standard Redundancy Department decks. Decks that um not playing Chain Whirler, but did well at Pro Tour Dominaria. I know, I didn't believe it either, but they're there, I swear. So far, we've played Willy Idol's Mono Black Control deck. We've played Sam Party's Blue Green Karn deck. Played Craig Wesco's Green White Mythic deck. That was the best one of the, of the three so far. And now we're playing... Dominic Prozik's Steel Leaf Stompy Blue deck. This deck went eight and two at the Pro Tour in Constructed. Um, I suppose Dominic did not have a very good draft record and did not make top eight. But this deck is a blue version of the popular Steel Leaf Stompy deck. Usually plays um, black for Scrappy Scrounger and some sideboard cards. Um, we're playing blue instead, though. Why? Commit to memory. It's actually a very elegant solution to two of the deck's biggest problems, which are Fumigate and large, powerful permanents like Scarab God or Glorybringer or whatever. Um, also, if you have Flood, you could Memory, theoretically, but that's not really part of the, the deal here. So, pretty sweet. Also allows us to have Negates in our sideboard for the control matchups. I'm very surprised there's only two Negates in this sideboard. Like, actually kind of flabbergasted. But otherwise, most of the... Uh, Green cards you're familiar with, uh, Lanarelf, uh, we have Steel Leaf Champion, Thrashing Brontodon, Lebrontodon, we got Ronus the Indomitable, Galta Primal Hunger, and Heart of Kieran. But there are some notable differences to the typical mono green splash black deck. Uh, we're playing Servant of the Conduit, which enables our splash a little bit too. We're playing Resilient Kenra. Which is a nice little beater and uh, can give us something to do with our mana later on by eternalizing. We're also playing Territorial Allosaurus. Pretty sweet dinosaur, actually. 5-5 five, for five 4, which is already pretty good. And then it can kick her to fight something. So it's sort of like a weird big chupacabra in the late game, which is pretty cool. Um, also playing one Verterous Gear Hulk. And then the boat card's really, really good. Um, also playing two copies of Adventurous Impulse. I like this card. This card's pretty sweet. Um, well designed card too. I like the I like cards I like colors other than blue getting card selection. I think it's pretty uh pretty important. So main deck is uh, pretty straightforward. Twenty two lands, a little lighter on land than the uh, other decks. We have four servants also, and the impulses. Sideboard's got three uh, Aether Sphere Harvester for mono red decks. It's got two bestiaries for control decks. This card is absurd against control. Um extra boat. For removal, obviously our blue-green deck doesn't have any removal in it. One Blossoming Defense, or our fourth Blossoming Defense. Uh, two Nature's Way. Target creature you control gains Vigilance and Trample, and then deals its damage to, it's equal to its power to a creature you don't control. So some green removal. Um, one Crushing Canopy, kills Lyra and Cast Out and stuff. Uh, two Nissa Vital Force, very good against Teferi decks for sure. And then... Um, one extra Galta for the mirror, I suppose. It's kind of a weird sideboard card. But all in all, um, an interesting, different version of Mono Green. And uh, let's do it. Competitive Standard League. That's our last match. We uh, beat a black-white deck with our green-white deck, which is cool. And we're playing Dominic's deck. Let's go. How's it going in chat? You're sitting in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Jim Davis. Playing some standard Dominaria, Pro Tour Dominaria decks. These are all the decks in the Pro Tour, not my decks. So, if they're bad, don't blame me. There are no Rish cars here. I'm sorry, Ross. No Rish cars at all. A lot of dinosaurs, though. This deck just sort of incidentally has eight dinosaurs in it. It's pretty cool. Might be some way to build, like, a, a dinosaur-ish deck. Always good, playable dinosaurs. No Carnage Tires is a little weird also. Yes, I agree. All right, we have Harbor, Kenra, Steel Leaf. Don't like playing Kenra as a two-drop, but we can keep this. Closing on hour nine of the stream. 
We got Sammy and Bernsey hanging out. They're sleeping. They're done. They don't want to play anymore. Dominic went two and four in draft. Yeah. How many more do I have of what? Any more decks? All right, it's turn one, Adventurers, Adventurous Impulse. Galta or Servant of the Conduit? Or land, I suppose. I'm pretty happy with Servant, I think. The land is probably the safest choice. But Servant's got higher upside. How many more they you got? What? I still don't understand. I'm sorry. How many more decks do I have? There's more. All right. I think the upside is highest on Servant. I guess Galta, theoretically, but I think we're somewhat likely to just draw land anyway. If we don't, Servant's still good. Like, worst case scenario, we play Servant, they kill it, we don't draw land. We still can play Kenra. Planes. And there's your land. Oh, the Karns were there. They just died. I think Karn. I think Karn's definitely overrated, and people finally realize that at the Pro Tour. But I think Karn is good in artifact e decks. Oops. I should want Ronus here or a Steel Leaf Champion. Kind of like Ronus. We get to uh, Kenra next turn. And if they counter it, whatever. Okay, it lives. We attack for two if they have a seal away. Probably not going to use it on our servant. So this feels pretty good. Uh, went, went two, three with mono black control. Oh, the matchups were pretty bad. Played some really weird decks in mono black. Went three, two with the blue green Karn deck and four, one, one with the Wesco deck. Okay, so, yeah. Could have a counterspell, obviously, but this is fine. Another option here is just to Kenra, our servant. Ooh, wow, that worked. Okay. Now we're in, in very good shape, I think. Uh, get to attack with Blossoming Defense up. Yeah, uh, I think our opponent could have played around this a little better. They chose not to, and now they take seven. Pretty big swing there. Cycle cast out? Okay, so our opponent's dead. What the hell is that? Garage! <laughs> Thanks for following, folks. That was an easy game. I gotta say, these blue-white decks have not looked good. What the hell is um, that? <laughs> Alright, so we need to cut Galta against blue-white. Um, we cut the Gear Hulk and the Boat as well. Uh, we're going to want Negates, and Bestiaries, and Nissas. Do we want Commit? Probably. Do we want... We can cut it on like a Servant or two. Four two Washington? How much time is left? I'm missing the game to stream for you folks, alright? I just want that to be clear. I'm missing... Game four of the Stanley Cup Finals. I could be upstairs with Nicole, all snuggled up on the couch watching it right now, and instead I'm streaming for you folks. And there we go. Magic Toad, thank you. I appreciate it. Now it makes it all worth it. Magic Toad, what's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? And your puppy name, please. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it very much. Everyone welcome our brand new sub with some love and chat, please. I haven't been seeing enough love lately. What am I doing here? My job. All right, I'm gonna cut two servants, I think. 
Not really sure about this one, but... I mean, the first five seasons of South Park, sure. I could have got like a territorial Allosaurus. Yeah, that card's kind of mopey. Not in South Carolina yet. Uh, we move in about two months. House still being worked on. I'm going down there next week. I'll be down there for three weeks working on the house. So, let's get in there. Heart of Garrett does seem a lot worse, a lot, a lot worse in this deck. Magic Toad is from Ohio. Have you ever eaten a Melt? Uh, favorite deck is Green White Ponza. Green White Ponza. Favorite card Trap Root Kami. That card's cool. Puppy named Dog. Wise man say forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. Yeah, Heart of Karen seems, seems a lot worse in this deck without Scrap Heap to crew it. Um, a lot of our two drops don't crew it at all, which kind of sucks. I guess Kenra does technically, but Crushing Canopy. Hmm. All right, we're probably dead this game. A lot of not close games. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I agree. I'm not super big on heart in this deck. Yeah, in this game, we're just totally dead. Yeah. Okay. Close games, back and forth. Sweet, boss. Moving to Okatee, South Carolina. We currently live on Long Island, New York. Nicole and I bought a house end of last year. It's a fixer-upper. We've been working on it. And it's almost time to move. We're very excited. All right. I mean... A dirty goal by the Caps. Oh, God. I want to use the ability. Northeast Georgia. Do you go to um, the Jolly Goblin or whatever it is game store in Savannah? All right. Art of Kieran dinks in. Please don't play Teferi. Aether Hub. Okay. Aether Hub is cool. Um, we're still going to Kenra. Because Brontodon wants to be played with a mana up so I can kill the seal away. So. I said always yes. Oh god. Commit Hardicurin. God damn it. If we can draw two lands next turn and play them both, well, then I'll be feeling better about this divine, game. But never pay full price for late pizza. So our next two cards are um, are the Kenra and the other card. About to concede. Once the furry gets going game basically ends yeah nice deck maybe this will work maybe this will work
There's a non-zero chance this Heart of Kieran kills Teferi. If it does, we're actually in the game, so... Holy crap. Alright, we'll keep playing. The blue-white decks have looked really, really bad all stream. Alright, they're playing Approach or Teferi? I don't want to draw Heart of Kieran again. <laughs> Stop making me draw my cards again. I don't know, Brett. Blue Whites looks pretty bad. We haven't lost to it once yet with any deck. Did bad at the Pro Tour. I don't know. Trust me, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Teferi lover. I love Teferi, but... I have not seen the either list uh, six two five. Okay, we have drawn a land. We are playing Kenra. The matching lands are pretty ugly. Okay, this will. Uh... All right, I mean, we're just gonna keep playing. What are the odds that Nissa Vital Force resolves next turn? Oh, we're drawing a heart of here, right? Next turn? This turn? This turn? Next turn? So we just have to keep playing because they could theoretically win. If this gets countered, I'm going to concede. How many teeth have I lost playing hockey? Uh, zero. I play roller hockey, not not ice hockey. So You can post a link, sure. If it's a bad link, you'll get banned. having my lands I can now cast an end step commit because they untap my lands improperly which can return my Kenra or my Brontodon I'm going to return my Brontodon let's do this really hate the mana tapping on magic online more than anything You just tap your lands. You just tap your own lands and then untap them. There's no mana burn in magic. So. Sure. That's cool. Feels pretty good. Let's keep plucking away here. All right, that's enough. Two close games so far. I guess you want crushing gun to be sure. It's like a bad, it's like a really bad disenchant. I don't want this card. This card sucks. Just a bad disenchant. I don't want it. If I saw Lyra, I'd bring it in, but. Yeah. All right, let's go. Line of elves, please. No, just a million resilient Kenras. Oh my god. This hand sucks. I'm mulliganing. We have three grizzly bears, a god, and a Nyssa. Yeah, I'm just gonna mulligan. 
Yeah, like I said, this is so much better. It is unbelievable. Turn to Steel Leaf, threatening Nissa. Um, kind of want to just draw lands. You can post that list if you want. It's fine. I'm not gonna look at them unless it's a deck tech. But I'm gonna bottom this. Listener Elf, have a go, my friend. I'm gonna bottom this. I want to draw lands and cast Nissa on time, if possible. Only in private, Brett. Only in private. Alright. Turn two. This is the current fix in standard. Turn two Steel Leaf Champion on the play. Oh, it's a big boy. Draw some lands, please. It's a big boy. Much rather cast the Life Crafter's Beast Crafters Bestiary, but it'll play. Resilient Kenra. So, I guess we're just rocking here. We're probably going to lose this game to not drawing land drops. They have Seal Away, it sucks, but... Yes, I always want to use this ability. Always. Never going to not want to use the ability. You can Seal Away the Champion, that's fine. Hopefully you can draw a land and play Bronzadon next turn. Then draw a land and play Nissa on the turn after. LeBrontodon James. What is this? Gideon? Sure. Oh my god. Come on. Throw me a bone. Hi. These Nissas. They want action. They want to get in the game. Interesting. Eternal Madness. How are you going? Trying to cast out Brontodon before I untap. Means they probably don't have Fumigator Settle. That's good. Just draw a Black Lotus and cast Nissa next turn. Dovin Bond? That would be... That would be priceless. Alright, cast out. I mean, Brett, both games have been stuck on two lands, you know? Like, if we get stuck on two lands, yeah. It's obviously also a good matchup for blue-white, too, so. Well, that's a land. Now we need another land. Um. Hmm. <sighs> Four cards left, saying go. Making a Gideon emblem. Implying they all made attack with both of my creatures. I wonder if they have settled or not. I wonder.
disallow. Okay. Do they have another seal away? Very possible. Yep. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Changing gears. Right. There's no way in hell this resolves, but we're doing it. Here we go. Hello. Hello. Coming in. What is this? What is this? Non-land permanent. To kill Gideon at least. All right. I mean, they got two cards left. Now our disenchants are real good. Please not the ferry. How are they? Oh, Fumigate? Oh, my land, no. Why does it stay a creature? Ugh. You're not a huge fan of blossoming defense in this matchup. I should have boarded a few of them out. Hinterland Harbor. So we can free a Brontodon end step and then free Nyssa end step, theoretically. Doesn't really do anything though, because it's there's no point in doing that. Because then they get the, they get to cast that anyway. Um they have three cards in end. I would say it's somewhat unlikely they have a, a way to counter our commit. Yeah, let's just do it. Second from the top. So you get two shots at Nyssa. Tranquility will be very good, yes. So you're saying I'm missing a great game. Thanks, Tuts. Just rub it in my face. <sighs> okay. Now you have to ferry. Oh my god. Please stop. No more. No more. You ever shovel in before? Shove it. Coming for you, Teferi. Coming for you. It's interesting choice by our opponent. Arch of Araska. memory this is insane we just went from about five percent to win to about thirty percent to win wow that was insane that was a very bad play from our opponent um now we're like alive heart of kieran steel leaf champion ronus that was that was something else i don't think that was a very good play from our opponent um, 
Yeah. Cool. Like, we had basically nothing. And now you have a huge chance to win. So, don't do what my opponent just did. Not a good idea. Play to non fumigatable fumigatable permanents. And now we're going. What's up, Killer Germ? Sure. We also have counter spells in our deck too, so it's not like they can just rely on negate or whatever. I mean I mean on settle or fumigate to catch up. Yeah, that was that was pretty wild. It's definitely the more fun play. Now we're like in this game, which is fun. We weren't in this game before. Sure. This is all fine. <laughs> so we're gonna use our defense just to kill Gideon. And play Steel Leaf Champion, right? Don't want to walk into a Wrath, so... Oh, why isn't it Oath of Nyssa? Nyssa, no. Alright. Could just Oasis the Servant and save the Blossoming Defense, but like... How many targeted removal spells can they actually have left, you know? Play like and Servant. And we'll play Sanctum and just say go. Like they've already cast three cast outs and two seal aways. They can't actually have that many kill spells left. You know? And if we use the Oasis, we can't cast anything else either, so. Add it to fairies? It seems very unlikely. Usually play four to fairies. Couldn't tell you, friends. Could not tell you what's going on here in this game. Tap five, Fumigate. Sure. Still got this Heart of Kieran. Settle the wreckage mana up. Oh, it's on now. Please resolve. Please resolve. Uh. Maybe if we cast champion, they disallow it. That might have been a mistake. We cast Champion first, they might just disallow it. I mean, they could resolve the Bestiary. That might have been wrong. I don't know. Like, they can't have that many Counterspell, like, disallows in their deck. I don't know. I'm not sure. Simple Man says, Hey, Jim, how did you know that Chain Roller would be the nuts? Just thinking. For those who missed it on my Twitter, I uh, got to gloat a little bit on Sunday. Retweeting myself, saying, this tweet aged well. I tweeted back on April 21st. Going on the record, Goblin Chainwheeler is a big mistake. Nostradamus, what can I say? Alright. Lebrontodon is a good draw. Got a player on Settle here. Um, just swing for six, I guess. Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. Yeah. Oh, trust me, my my article was real bad, but I was correct about Chain Whirler, so glimmer.
Opponent's also playing very slowly. It's not good for your blue-white deck. You know, you gotta play fast for each timeout. Blink of an eye. Sure. Yeah, back to nature would be pretty good. They bounced it. They have a plan? They did. Captain Jack, 15 months in a row. Captain Jack, you the bomb. Hail Thanks, my friend. 15 months. Jim, keep up the great content. Captain Jack, you keep watching and I'll keep doing it. Captain Jack, 15 months is a long time. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it very, very much. Everyone, trust some love and chat for Captain Jack. How do they beat us in nine minutes? I don't know. They have Gear Hulks. But one back to nature, and we get Ronus, Nissa, Kenra, Brontodon, Steel Leaf Champion. I was playing on Settle. You can't just jam all your guys and just into a, a Settle, you know? Not really in a, in a big rush here. Chain Wheeler is, is really, really good regardless of anything else. It's just a bad it's just a bad design. The card is very, very good, main deck playable all the time, and just ruins X1s. It's just a bad design. It's a very foolish card for almost all the same reasons that Ferocidon. I mean, yeah, that Ferocidon was stupid. Um Yeah. Back to nature is not standard legal. Opponent, I would like to go to sleep sometime tonight. I've been streaming for almost 10 hours. Let's go. <sighs> All right. I only have one card left. No Swazzy. No 48 hour stream. They got a clock and it's ticking. So. If I'm not back in five minutes. Just Thanks for following you. everyone. <laughs> What's going on? Hinterland Harbor. <sighs> it's very hard to play around Settle here. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I shouldn't have played that land, that was dumb. If I'm not back in five minutes. You wanna, I don't wanna just, just throw Brontodon away, I wanna throw it away after they use a spell on it. So, thanks for following everyone, jeez. Y'all crazy. SG Con. It's in like four days. My birthday is tomorrow. That's a thing. Draw a card. Okay.
Um, I mean, there's a reason to put the Oasis on the Brontodon. I think you could think you want to split it up. Same idea, though. Our opponents have been exceptionally slow today. All right, I mean, it, we're we're somehow winning this game. So our opponent decided to cast Memory when they were pretty far ahead. Yep, I turned 21. Fumigate. Cool. So we're going to destroy the cast out uh, on Nyssa for sure. Pretty sure the one on Brontodon. Or I'd rather have one on Brontodon in play. I think I'd like. Is it better in play or in the graveyard? In the graveyard, I think. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Well, do they have a counterspell? Probably. Am I playing Nissa anyway? Yeah. It only gets worse. So. Oh, if this is a gear hole to give the game, then they, they could actually win in time. That's an arch. No. No, it's gone forever. It's game three, I think. I don't even know. No. Our opponent gave us a chance to win by casting memory too. We were probably about 5% to win. That memory put us at about 30% to win. And for a while here, it was actually looking pretty good. But, I mean, they had Gear Hulks in game, in one of the games, so they're not like no win condition. But, um, they could time out. At this rate, I mean, they're going to time out. Feels like game six. I mean, Bestiary... I think, I mean, the reason why Teferi is so good is because he beats anything. He can kill Bestiary, he can kill Planeswalkers. Oh my god, just discard a card. What are you doing? You have three minutes left. In a game you can never lose unless you time out. Just pick a card at random and discard it. You have eight cards in hand. I don't understand. Just pick one at random. It's 
Chuggalo, thanks for watching, my friend. I think this is game three, I think. So while we're waiting for our opponents, we'll do our usual spiels. Hop on Twitter. Make sure you give me a follow at Jim Davis MTG. Follow, follow, follow. Or fun posts like this. What's that one? I don't know. Go find out. Also follow my team, Team BCW, at Team underscore BCW. Myself, Brennan, Todd, uh, Tannen, and Ross. We are awesome. The best looking team on tour. Not close. And uh, we'll all be in Roanoke this weekend for SCG Con. If you're going to be at SCG Con, raise your hand in chat. Raise your hand in chat. SCG Con. Who am I going to see there? This is going to be the second opponent to time out on us today. Oh, they've disconnected. Okay. Also, check out my YouTube. YouTube.com slash Jim Davis MTG. All fun videos going on there. I'm going to be gone from Ses from SCG Con and for about a week. There'll be no streams for about 10 days. There will be videos posted on my YouTube, though. So stay tuned for that. Check that out, of course. Um, opponent has finally disconnected. LLLV1 says, What happened to Metagame Gurus? Didn't I create that? Uh, no, I was captain of Team MGG. I was not the owner. Um, Team MGG had two owners, still has two owners, um, Frank Pendle and Rick Meditz. I chose to leave the team at the end of last year, which wasn't really the right fit for me. And, oh, they're back. And um, Ronus, the team continued. There's now two Pro Tour, te Pro Tour Team Series teams under the MGG banner. Um, so yeah, check them out. They're still on. They're still out there. Metagamegurus.com. I would say at this point, our opponent can't actually win anymore. I don't even think Gearhole can kill us fast enough. <laughs> Up, they blunk our herd of Kirin. What are we ever going to do? Play Heart of Kieran. Melvin. Melvin. Play Threshing Brontodon. F6. I mean the one right the one right back there? They weren't ugly, they were great. It got your attention, didn't they? You didn't forget them, did you? No, do not like Ronas in the green white deck. New sub, thank you for saving me from boredom. Just want to watch. New sub, just want to watch. What's your name? Where you from? Oops. How long you play Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important. What's your name? Where you from? Puppy name, please. Up, oh, Art of Karen. Okay. Everyone, just some love and chat for um, our new sub. Oh, there's the Gear Hulk. Only 14 seconds left, though, so. Um, our team now should be Team SCG, or do they not sponsor? Um, our team is Team BCW, sponsored by BCW Supplies. Okay. If you're going to play Blue White, you got to play faster than that. So, that was our first match. Oh, my God. You're sitting here, welcome to the stream. We're playing, uh, who's that? Is this Dominique Prozix, eight and two, Steel Leaf Stompy deck from the Pro Tour. This deck went eight and two at the Pro Tour. Gurmag, new sub. Gurmag, what's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? And your puppy name, please. Once again, show some love and chat for Gurmag. The puppy count. When we hit 1,000 subs, I get John and a call a puppy for our new house. We're at 426. Yes, we're going to be here literally all night because our opponents are so damn slow. Oh, 
Bork, bork, bork. Bork, bork, bork. Bork, bork, bork. Sand is fine. You can keep. Uh, I don't know. I think only one Gear Hulk is correct. The Gear Hulk's kind of weird, honestly. I don't think the Gear Hulk is particularly great in this deck, but it's, it's a good card. I don't know. Oh, boy. Okay. Bloodfest. What's up, Zeno? Right, I would love to draw, thank God. Just draw land for the love of God. Hey, we're playing tenor, team or energy. Gurmag is Cody from Indiana. Ever, uh, I don't know, that's, that's, that's Ohio. Playing Magic since 2012. You bet the Invitational? Sweet. Come say hi. SCG Con, 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 Con, SCG Con. Uh, Devin says, Hey Jim, when you were playing Bant Approach, what were the deck's worst matchup? Or a standard chain so much, it's not really relevant? Uh, it's changed a lot. Oh, don't doom fall me. Don't doom fall me. Don't do it. Ugh. Ugh. Ronus. Gone forever. Oh, blue black control. Venturous Impulse. I'd like to cast Steel Leaf Champion with a Blossoming Defense up. All right, we need lands. I guess we could just, yeah, just whatever. They can tempt me. They can tempt me. We have bigger stuff to play. Doom fall me again, again. Oh, never return. Sure. Botanical Sanctum. It's Galt, Galt is looking mighty bad here. I don't know, everything's something pretty weird, honestly. Hostage Taker? What? What? How do you play this card in this format? Good lord. Come on. Oh. It really has been like all day. Half of our opponent's decks just cannot beat a red deck. Like, main deck, Bloodfast, Hostage Taker. Yeah. Never. Never. They're playing never because this deck never beats the red deck ever. But, goddamn. I want to make an 8-8 with Blossoming Defense up. That's what I would like to do. But, I might just slam it, honestly. Oh, not that one. Makes Galta good next turn. Uh, Green-White, yes. Went 4-1. and one. That was the best deck we've played so far. Alright, 8-8, eight, eight, go. Oh my god. I I want to play I put the land. I'm such an idiot. Why did I play the land? Oh no. It's almost like this is my tenth hour of streaming. Shit. They have so many edicts too, but like our blossoming defense isn't even that good. 
I don't know how we ever win. We just like can never win in a million years. Um, whatever. Just want to watch from Santa Cruz. Favorite 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 set Shadow Moor. Or started playing in Shadow Moor. Favorite deck is Stacks. Favorite card Mangara and Odie for the puppy name. Sweet. Just want to watch. Thanks for subbing. All right, whatever. Alright, opponent's playing like blue black mono black scarab god something. Uh, it was uh, Craig Wesco's screen white deck. The video will be up on YouTube if you missed it. You got Galta. Ronis, I guess. One of these bestiaries. They got the sky ship. I don't think I want negate. Yikes. I guess these impulses get a lot worse. I've cut a lot of creatures. Eh. Eh. This deck has been mono two landers. I'm not feeling this deck at all. This deck kind of sucks. I don't think you want negate. Like their best cards are Scarab God, you know, like negate doesn't stop that. If you're countering a, a removal spell, then blossoming events just strictly better. So We also don't draw a Elf very often. That is very, very true. And we've cast turn one Lanner Elf like one time. Thanks for following. Just do something. Gifted Aether Ward. Can't beat that card. Yeah, this deck sucks. Dominic is the best Magic player in the world because Dominic went 8-2 with this deck at the Pro Tour. Dread Shade. This basically is mono black splashing for Scarab God then. Which seems reasonable. Oh my god. It's funny because I actually like the mono green deck that splashes black. Um, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Allosaurus worse than Ripjaw Raptor? Maybe. Is our deck good against mono red? Where's Burnsy? He's in the cage. Sammy's in there too. They're both sleeping. That's Sammy, his brother. That is a bold attack. Good lord. Time to put these blossoming defenses to work.
defense, more like offense. Wait, no, hold on. Bam! How do you like them apples? Nice dread shade, idiot. This card sucks. This card's so bad. And they'll never play her on the third blossoming defense. Never. Ah, oh, Sammy's liking himself. Sorry, Sammy. Nantuku Shade? Yeah. Magic has moved on from Nantuku Shade. Um, unsurprisingly, Shade's not really that impressive anymore. Yeah, Ripto Raptor's pretty cool. Agree. For the love of Christ. Opponent. Do something. Leave Sammy alone, alright? What's up, guys? What are you guys doing? Sleeping on a job? Oh, a little cute yawn routine. Perfect, Sammy. I got the big bucks. The Eldest Reborn. Sure. Another territorial Allosaurus. This deck is awful. To discard this blossoming defense. They have so many edicts. It's gonna be so hard to play it. Like have mana for that and the one of these threats. <laughs> yeah, you can, this is our hand. We can't cast any more cards. Feel free to take one. I don't know. Opponent went. I mean, the uh, opponent. Uh, Dominic went eight and two in the Pro Tour with this deck. Our draws have been pretty bad, truth be told. Like, we never draw land or elves, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now they get to reanimate something. They get to get back. His card's pretty good, actually. Card's dope. Uh, Nessa was exiled to Doomfall, so it's no longer in the graveyard. It's probably just Aetherborn. I guess Dread Shades, like, okay. Yeah, F6, alright, whatever. Definitely has a lot of competition in the five drop slot against like Liliana Death's Majesty, Scarab God, etc. etc. But I'm not playing it. We can't beat Hostage Taker. We can't beat half the cards in their deck. So far, color me extremely unimpressed. Kenra's been awful. Servant's been mediocre. Territorial, territorial Allosaurus has been bad. 
Um, commit's been eh. I kind of like the idea. The idea is that, you know, Blue Green struggles with Fumigate and Scarab God, or like big things like that. Commit answers both, but this has not been very successful. End the stream. Of course I want to be here. I finish what I start, all right? I'm just not happy with the deck. I think it stinks, you know? Not enough Kaladesh cards. It's fair. A lot of dinosaurs, though. A lot of dinosaurs. All right, let's go. Come on. Let's draw Lana Ralphs. Get back on track here. It's also like everything is just taking so long. Our opponents are playing so slowly. Like, just, ugh, I'll just go. All right, no Lana Ralphs. But this is the hand. Impulse, got it. Not enough Lyras. Oh, the mana would never work for Sultai. So, I cast a spell and I hit F6 because I had no more actions. And it took my F6 as I don't want to take any cards. So, we just failed to find with our impulse. Not getting the third land we so desperately need. Yeah, that's pretty stupid. Not sure why okay would just mean don't take any cards. Thanks, Magic Online. Now I'm actually mad. Now I might actually just end the stream. <laughs> What's up, Wasabi? If you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. First time here. Don't be shy. That was that was ridiculous. Who designed this program? This card ain't on Arena. I don't have any cards on Arena, so I can't play Arena. Alright, uh, we're still in reasonable shape here. Obviously, they have pushed it's terrible for us, but probably don't have push. I don't have the cards, though. I don't have any, oh, God, they have the push, too? This deck plays like one or two pushes. I don't think playing around push there is even remotely reasonable. Still in good shape, I think, though. Two big creatures, a little defense, Lebrontodon. This card's still a bomb. This card's really, really, really good. Really, really good. Saying go here. It's uh. Oh my god. This is. This is wild. Um. 
Maybe Kenra here and leave Double Blossoming Defense up. I don't even know what they can... I guess they have, like, Ballista Push and Untap Contempt. Yeah, we're just going to... Kenra. Change my auto yield to the plus sign. No, I, I have it on six. It's it's. I didn't. I didn't hit it by accident. I hit it intentionally. I was trying to hit the F six. I didn't think that hitting F six would say take no cards. It would just take no more actions for the rest of a turn. You know. All right. So they have push. We blow them out in the game. Are they just dead here? And they're actually just dead. Oh, vicious offering. Wowzers. Wowzers. Are they dead on board? Are they dead? Are you dead, sir? Are you no longer living? Cool. Um, suppose we want more blossoming defenses. I don't want these. I want this. Nature's way, I suppose, seems reasonable. Uh, I gotta cut a card here. Cut an adventurous impulse, I guess. We're down to 27 creatures. Still a lot of creatures. I got a Galta. Seems bad against uh on the draw against like removal spells. Yeah, sure. Leave, leave the impulse in. All right, let's roll. Wasabi, what's up, my friend? If you're sitting here, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. Thanks for hanging out. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure you follow there. Uh, big ups to all my new subs today. You guys are awesome. And just playing some standard. This is our 10th hour of the stream. We've, this is our fourth standard deck. We've done four leagues today. Uh, Willie Adel's Mono Black Control. Um, Sam Party's Blue Green Karn. Craig Wesco's Green White Mythic. And this uh, Dominic Prozik's Blue Steel Leaf Stompy deck. Played all those decks today. So if you missed them, they'll all be on YouTube. Go check that out. And uh, so far, the only deck I really like is the Green White deck. This was a untapped land we could go like turn tap land impulse for land land or elf i was gonna keep i like his hands like we draw a land here of his hands bananas and if we don't we get to impulse for a land and play land or elf i gonna keep uh no schedule um my life's insane right now we just bought a house we're moving into it soon um once we move and we're all settled in i'll have a schedule but usually just during the week during the day Oh, oh, oh yeah. Constrictor? Card's good. On tap land. Nope. Okay. Um, I think I like Heart of Kieran here. We could, we could try an impulse for a forest if we miss, like, the turn just turns to absolute poo-poo. So, yeah, we'll just cast Heart of Kieran. Not ideal, but we draw a land, we can go Kenra and Nature's Way. Um, Ronus also passable. Uh, Siphoner probably needs to die. Opponent's deck has so many must-kill creatures. Didn't draw land. Hmm. Very awkward. I think we need to just let them have a turn with their Siphoner. Just play Ronus. They have Fatal Push. I don't think we can do much about it, honestly. I'd like to just get in here. 
We don't have uh, defense to play around push. Just knowing nothing. Oh, I had the push too. God. So brutal. All right. Well, they get a card off Siphoner. We can we get to Nature's Way at next turn. Okay. Holy crap, dude. Feels bad. Not killing the snake, too, is like, ugh. Because if we, if we tried to use Lana Rolf, they would just kill it with the uh, the Fatal Push, and we would have gotten blown out. It's part, part of the reason why I was okay with letting the hard die to push, because we needed it later. Now what? Don't be Ballista, please. Bristling Hydra, we can't beat any of these cards. Does it? Yeah, it's, it's a problem. I could just play Enra as a bear, but that seems awful, so we'll just say go. Yeah. I get two for one then. So I lose Lana Rolf and my Nature's Way, and I still have a Heart of Kieran. That's not, that's not a good exchange. Adventurers, adventurous Impulse. Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Oh, boy. This blue-green deck needs more removal. Yeah. Yeah. About that. About that. Don't really have great attacks. Champ can get in. Galta. That's not bad. Can't really cast boat. We have like two lands every game. I said always yes. Uh, no, I think Nissa stinks. They were doing stuff. We get some attacks in and playing some big creatures. No, unsummon is legal. Which is not very good. That's a pretty wild attack. Four. Two, four, six. That's ten. Twelve. Okay. So we are dead, basically. Actually, a good attack. Arcane Flight. Uh, it is not a thing you want to do.
We can do 11. It's actually not the worst, like... It's kind of real, right? Like... Just mush for 9, I guess. Anybody else leave mush, mush for 9? Always yes. Always yes means always yes. Not once in a while yes. Not maybe yes. Always yes. We attack with Kenra here. We die to like push or contempt. Yeah, it's fun. This is a this is a swing. We're doing stuff here. Block with Kenra. We can just do it again next turn. We're not dead yet. They had the push. And they have one card left. We died a removal spell. Or Ballista. Always yes. Always. Call me crazy. I think the blue cartouche would be awesome in this deck. Like two copies of blue cartouche. Got them on the ropes now. They're never scared to attack with their Hydra. Another siphoner. Servant of the conduit. So this Hydra is basically uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, that's 8. It's basically an infinite, infinite. Um, Hostaker's good, yes. Lebrontodon. Opponent is in a little bit of a crux here because... None of their creatures can block Steel Leaf Champion except for Hydra, and none of their creatures can, uh, can attack profitably. We're actually not in terrible shape this game. But yeah, card of Knowledge. I like that card. Alright, they go to three. They draw two extra cards. What's wrong with you, Sammy? Sammy is currently thumping his feet, which is the universal gerbil terminology for danger. It's supposed to warn other gerbils of danger. What's up, man? And Sammy and Burnsy doesn't care at all. Burnsy's like, whatever, man, shut up. I'm trying to sleep. Blue Splash has been awful. This is uh this deck has been atrocious, in my opinion. Uh much, much worse than the usual version of a deck playing black. Yeah, Burns is just laying there. He doesn't even care. Sammy has calmed down, but that's weird. Usually Burnsy is an erotic one. Maybe Sammy had a bad dream. Maybe Sammy had a nightmare. What kind of nightmares would a gerbil have? Splashing white for Shalai? I don't think it really does what the deck wanted, wants to do. LeBrontodon. Alright, well, now we're at a bit of a standstill. It's kind of weird that they didn't attack there, because Brontodon can block Steel Leaf Champion, but... Oh, they have Brontodon, though. Um... How do we make them not have Brontodon anymore? I don't know. Do gerbils dream? I don't know. What a card. LeBrondodon. And we could just... So Hydra is effectively plus six, plus six. 
So it is a 9 toughness creature. If we Oasis on Steel Leaf Champ, it's only 8. So if they go for the block, uh, we lose it. But if they go for the block with Brontodon and just Chump, you can make it look like a Blossoming Defense, I guess. We're going to try it. This is gutsy. I'm not gonna lie. We might lose the game on the spot here. We play ship, they just kill it with Brontodon. We need to get Brontodon off the table here. God damn it. Our ruse did not work. Was that a punt? Yeah, the two for one doesn't matter. Skyship wins the game by itself. If it's allowed to stay in play. I don't think killing a trickster is worth it, no. Oh, see? See, I told you we could do it. Now, the ship's going to win us the game by itself next turn. Right-click concede. What's up, my friend? Right-click concede. You're a new sub to the stream. What is up? What's your name? Where are you from? How long are you playing Magic? Have you ever card of all time? Have you ever deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? Puppy name, please. They're drawing two extra cards next turn, and they have a Deadlands. We're not looking to make trades here. We're looking to play Sky Ship and win the game while chump blocking. That is our plan. Maelstrom Aggro, another new sub. Same questions, Maelstrom Aggro. Show some love in chat for our new subs. I'm not seeing any love at all. I'm going to ban someone at random if I don't see more love. All right? We're a family here. We all support each other. Show some love. Holy crap, dude. Contempt on Kenra. All right. Might have had a few too many kill spells here. We have to draw land. Right click and seed is Matt from Chicago. Favorite card is Azusa or Birthing Pod. Favorite deck is Wolf Run or Esper Drown Yard. What's up, Matt? Thanks, Sub. Appreciate that very much. I wouldn't have minded a land there. So you're saying there's a chance. Brontodon blocks Hydra. If they don't deadlands our Len or Elf, we kill them. Sky Sovereign. Or if we draw a three power creature or another creature that costs two or less. We've given ourselves a good chance to win the game. Thanks, right click and see I appreciate that. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Come on, everybody. Let me hear you, chat. Happy birthday, dear Jim. Happy birthday to you. Yay! You're I older. I don't want to be old. You're old. I don't want to be old anymore. Yay! Everybody wish you a happy birthday! Can I stop being old now? No! <laughs> Why can't I be 21? Keep being old. Why? We love you old. I want to be old. <laughs> birthday half day. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. Oh, look. It. A birthday sub. Birthday sub. Bit Rolly. Bit Rolly the birthday 
some. Bit rolly, you saw. Bit rolly. Thank you. Happy 21st. I like that too. But the big time slow roll just to kill us? Aww. Our opponent is not Keep wishing us a happy birthday. Birthday, birthday bits. Birthday bits. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I appreciate it. I know I look young and good, but I'm actually 34. <laughs> I'm so old. Ugh. And we almost had that. We almost, we almost stole that game, too. You did. I think you played pretty well. All right. Thanks, everyone. I appreciate it. It's my birthday. <laughs> no one should have to play this deck on their birthday. I know. <laughs> I know. Drop from the league. Um, <laughs> Another birthday sub. Birthday subs. Birthday. Couldn't crew. I'm just assuming these are birthday subs. Wasabi, wow. another crew. Another sub. Birthday subs. 34 is the new 27. <laughs> Great. I'll take it. <laughs> Two new subs, Wasabi and uh, Moonlab? 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 Moon Moon Moulin? Moulin Oh my gosh. A younger a younger it's man might have won late. that game. <laughs> Two new subs, what are your names, where are you from, how long have you folks been playing Magic? Favorite cards of all time, favorite deck of all time, most important, what's your name, where are you from? So Bit Rolly, Moulin Lab. Puppy names please also. Wasabi. Abunai Wasabi. Um, Raph Flash is not a competitive deck. Isn't that a... Didn't you want to try that in, like, Brawl or something? What? Raph Brannigan? Aw, and now everybody's saying how young you look. I know, I'm 34. I'm so... Look at me. He's so handsome. <laughs> Don't look at him. Actually, look at him. Don't look at me. <laughs> I was upset. Like we're both old and we look really young and good looking and stuff, but... Yeah, I look alright. We're, we're just For old, as though. old as I am. Just, I suppose. We're just old. Bonfet. Bonfet? Uh, mer merci beaucoup, uh, mon bon. ami. <laughs> yeah, you're only as old as you feel, and I feel 34. <laughs> Sometimes he feels like 102, so that's kind of cool. All right, we got Hardy Kieran, serving the conduit, blossoming defense. Nothing to crew it with. <laughs> Thanks, Aww. Venom. So cute. Yeah, I guess we hard of hearing here. I mean, like, hard of hearing just seems bad in this deck. Molon Lab is from Wisconsin. Him a Torque, favorite card, like Storm. Thanks, uh, Mulan Lab. Appreciate that. All the Storm. Constrictor. Okay. I really, really don't like this deck. I'm gonna play two Lionel Ralves. They're gonna play a Ballista and we're gonna concede. Is that, is that a fair plan? Can I do that? I think that's why you're playing Lionel Ralves actually over like anything else. <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. I don't know. I'm just I'm, I'm just playing the Pro Tour decks. It's not my deck list. Don't make fun of me. No, but seriously. Make fun of me because I'm old. Everybody make fun of him. Yeah, this is just um this deck went eight and two at the Pro Tour. I think it's really bad. Doomfall. Okay. We can do this. Now they know our hand, but... Now we get to kill the... Melina? Mel, my... I think it's... Oh, it's an I, an L. Maia, yeah. Maia? 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 That's a cool name. Maia, new sub, what's your name, where are you from? I could be entirely wrong with that. How long you been playing Magic, favorite card of all time, favorite deck of all time, most important, what's your name, where are you from? And a puppy name, please. I always struggled in Italian. The the word, there was like, a word for, it was like jeweler or jewelry store. There were literally like five vowels in there. Llama. Llama. Same question as llama. Thank you, llama I appreciate entity. that. Or I should have birthdays more often. Right. No, I shouldn't. No, I shouldn't. Abort. Abort. No more birthdays. Well, yeah, I mean, you've had 34 of them. What's one or more, two more going to do? Bring me closer to death. <laughs> That's what it's going to do. Right click and see. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it very much. What am I doing? I I meant to... Oh, it's gone. Never mind. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm done. It's gone. I'm, done. I'm old and senile. They took it. I'm old and it's senile. It's gone forever. So I don't even know why I tapped. That's why you didn't I do that. I should have just... I'm so old and senile. Cast the servant and crewed off of that? Yeah. That's exactly, yes. exactly what I should have done. That's okay, Jim. 
No new birthdays. Hashtag no new birthdays. <laughs> Good luck getting that one off the ground. I mean, people don't want to grow up. It's true. Oh, I'm not that sad. My life is amazing, and I'm very, very happy. Yeah, it's pretty great. And if you didn't see his grades last time, it's probably... Aww. Boo. Boo, opponent. It survived. They lived. They, yeah. they must have clicked. No, I mean, they try to keep their blister around. Oh my god. Somebody help me. Um, this is great. I'm so glad I came downstairs. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't want to miss this. See, Swazi, when you saw him and you didn't see the grades, was it because it, was his hair long or short? Cause it, oh, they're there. They're there. There are a lot of them. They're there. You can't really see him from far away. But your hair is... It's funny because they're there. You can't really, they're, they're not that apparent. I guess your hair is so thick. Even though it's dark, it's like so thick that the grays don't really come out. Yeah, where's the cake? Like, I made brownies. Tomorrow is cake. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's like this is very good because a lot of the cards just aren't individually powerful. I can get your Rice Krispie treat. Like, I like how the in the other deck, it's like scrap heaps and stuff. Like... We have so many cards that can't crew heart by themselves. Serpent is like lame by itself. The only card in the other deck that's lame is Lana Rolfs, which is also just, also just great. Every card's a threat, you know? Abunai Wasabi. Wasabi is from Hawaii. Awesome. I've been, I've been there before. Twice. Every deck is Slivers or Mill. Puppy name Girl Liliana. And male Karn. Sweet. <laughs> Was it long? You were trying to be nice for once in the. It's alright, Swazi. I'm not going to let anybody be nice to Jim. I mean, I guess it is his birthday and we should all be nice to him today. Mm. In the next 24 hours. Mm. Well, at 23 hours and 52 minutes. <laughs> Countdown to Counting. the next birthday. Well, you know, it's already like 5 a.m. in England. Yeah, Ken, this is uh, closing on hour 11 of this stream. And uh, my opponents have been playing so unbelievably slowly. We wanted to make sure we crossed the, the birthday finish line. Yeah. I would like to be in bed right now, but I have like five more matches to do or something. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep firing in. They only have uh, four cards in hand and a bunch of mana up. This, there's no way this could not end well. I mean, two blossoming events. The are pretty safe here. Hard to care, looking to go coast to coast here, honestly. I get to pump Ballista, shoot Lana Rolfs, just fine. They only know about one defense, right? Because they're about to get blown into next year. This is going to be dope. Are they going to rest this weekend? Nerd. Oh no, it's what is he? 5 a.m.? 5.30 a.m.? Should we do What should we donate for Jim to play Steel Leaf Stompy Blue as a birthday? Game? No donation bonus leaks. Closed. Tomorrow's my birthday. Then Wednesday or Thursday, I leave for SCG Con. Yeah, he leaves me. Then I go out of the house for three weeks. I'm gonna be spackling and drywalling and living in a, a concrete floor house with nothing in it, and a table and a bed. You're, you're a prison be, cell, basically, where I'll be doing nothing but streaming and working you'll on the house. You'll be getting carpet soon. Carpet soon. Ronus. Um, so, I mean, dead or alive here, they have to just bluff contempt or... I guess push is also... Yes, yeah, so they, they probably have contempt here. I mm, just kind of guess Ronus and say go. I mean, why not attack and make them have it? Because if they have it, we can't win anymore. Why not? Because then they win. We have three. We have two grizzly bears and a Lana Rolf against Constrictor and Ballista. Why can't you just attack with Ronus then? I mean, well, I play Ronus and say go. Make them have it two things next turn. Okay. But they could draw the second thing. I mean, we can't cast two contempts in one turn, you know? 
I don't they'll, think they'll just content the rise. That's fine. Then maybe we'll, maybe we'll just draw some other stuff and let's keep playing. Is that making sense? Uh. Five pounds of bacon. Ma, 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 what is it again? My my my. Uh, I don't know. Maya. Maya. Maya? From Utah, playing Magic since Ixalan. Going to first GP in Vegas. Cool. Every card is gifts and given, Mila. and humans is sweet. Name your dog after me. Mila. How do you say it? Because it's my. Because well, it says that it's a lowercase i, but it's an l there. So she's saying like Mila. Oh, it is an Maella. l. There. Why is it an i? Maella. Oh, so it's. It's actually a capital I there. Yeah. Oh, okay. I suppose. And they're just. But it's very pretty. That's a cool name. Well. Yeah, Dwarf Lord, we're in the same boat. And I must be right, because I top eight an IQ yesterday, alright? Two days I ago. I know what I'm talking about. Two, it's two days ago now. Yeah, two days ago. Whatever. Yeah. It's, time is time is slipping. Can they post the deck list yet? Probably not, right? I don't know. Modern? You are getting auto. Regionals. Nope. I death and tax. Our opponents today. They want me to finish this league on my twenty or I mean twenty second birthday. Your next twenty first birthday. Yeah, my next twenty first birthday. Right. Yeah, you gotta bless the Nicole did not win. I didn't. Nicole lost. I went five oh one and lose. I was Good so excited. Because I went four oh and there were me and Jim were both starving. We were starving. And um I went 4-0, and I'm like, sweet. I was the only 4-0. I'm like, I should be able to double draw. And creature. my opponent had drawn, like, the last round, and they, he didn't want to draw with me. If he drew with me, like, I think his next round would have been a win and in and he had a terrible matchup against me, but he chose to play anyway, and we, ended, we actually ended up drawing in a game, that I, a game three that I was in good shape for. And then my next round opponent... We were both locked for top eight, and he was like, "Now nah, I want to play." I was just like, "I just want to eat." So she browned him. And J yeah, I did. And Jim also got paired down, so he had to play the last round too. So, the moral of the story is neither of us got to eat until after the switch. Oh my, yeah, like they they they, and they announced top eight, and I was like, we were "Like we gotta go." We're taking food. a ten minute break. <laughs> End of story. There was no there was no fast food in the immediate area, like as in quick food to eat. So, like, there's a bar, but, like, they are very slow service. Yeah, apparently, like, if you wanted, like, a, an order of, like, mac and cheese, it was going to be, like, 20 minutes. And right. like, e we don't have that much time. Yeah, so. It's birthday. It's birthday. Happy birthday. Yes, my birthday. Happy birthday, Jim. Yeah. Birthday. Yeah. I, my current deck yet? I played, I played Tron, yeah. Yes. I played Tron two days ago. Whatever. I played Tron on Sunday, yes. Oh, yeah. And it was great. Oh, Heart of Kieran. Coast. To coast. I'm surprised we beat this deck, honestly. Well, we didn't get there yet. Beat it already. Hey, Wolf! You can do it. Was this the Bearded Dragon? Yes, it was. Yep. A lot of fun. But I, yeah, I played bad in top eight and lost. Birthday even I got luck. To eat. Birthday luck. Canadian says, if I had to pick, what deck would I play at the next XCG event? If I could pick only one of the three. This deck, Red Green Monsters or Mono Blue Flyers. I have to see the Red Green Monsters list. But this this or Monsters, I mean, I don't know. Alright, we're two and one. Could be worse. Not seeing any love in chat for our new subs. When a person subs, you show love. Can we ban someone? We'll ban someone at random, I swear yes. to God. We'll ban two people because it's Jim's birthday and he can do whatever he wants. It's my birthday and I'll ban people if I want. So we drew Lionel Ralphs. No, it you really, didn't. it really for is. On turn one? It really is my birthday. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Yeah. Wow. Sounds great. Wow. We did it. No, no, you should have to play, play Magic for the next 23 hours. Uh, 
You put some emotes <laughs> in chat. Don't ban me. There Daniel Combs wants us to pick pick him to ban. But I don't... But it's gotta be random. That's not fair, Daniel. I can't just pick you. Blossoming defense. And everybody's gonna be like, oh, the stream is rigged. Oh, man. Heart of Kieran, Blossoming defense, tank them. We almost missed. Almost. Almost. Should have been a second Heart of Kieran, for good measure. It's actually pretty bad for us. Get in there, Llanowar Elves. I guess... 5-5 five, five into Sky Sovereign isn't bad. Ooh, deserts. It's a little more love. Could we have run on the previous now. turn with crewing in response to the Ronus trigger? Aww. Ronus trigger, what? They killed a thing. No, they didn't. Get out of here. Go away. You're not letting them kill it? No, I cast a 5-5 five, five and then Sky Ship the next turn. We're curving out here. Them curves. Yes. Now they play a stupid you can creature. You show any sort of love you want, dwarf. It doesn't just, have just to put be, emotes in chat. It doesn't have to be Jim's emotes, even though they're better than everyone else's. Yeah. Oh, either your harvester. Ugh. I'm a personal fan of Jim D. Wow. Yeah, obviously. <gasps> what? He's adorable. Burnsy. Burnsy. Jim D. Gerbil's pretty sweet too. Thanks, Keith. I appreciate you. <laughs> a chupacabra. That's kind of a blowout. Um, mm. Commit. This card sucks. Um, Didn't you say it was like one of the things that could answer certain things? Yeah, it's just so expensive. Like, it's just not good. Look at all that love. Birthday curves. There we go. Now you're getting it. <laughs> Bobby, Man, Guapo, Bobby, I'm you, ripped. You got the you got the right idea. <gasps> Look pretty good for thirty four. I'm ripped. Mm. More puppies. We are at what's the puppy sub count? Four thirty four. A lot of new subs today. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We're gonna have a puppy soon. A lot of new subs today. We're gonna have a house soon too. We are. We're moving. For the puppy to live in. No, for us to live in. And the puppy. Screw the puppy. John's very excited. He's like, everybody's going to have to meet the puppy. He's like, what's the... All what right. was, he goes, Karn's the leader right now for puppy name, right? I go, yeah, Karn's right, the so leader. Pretty goes, obvious for us contempt here. There's, there's, there's going to die or commit, everybody. so... Pretty cool. Do all the things. Yeah, I'll fire the boat in case they have like a push something. Everyone's got emotes. Oh, sure, push with the Evolving Wilds. Got it. Look at all, look at all them emotes. Look at all that love. No, I, meant, I meant, like, push to kill, like, some, I guess, yeah, or something cheaper. Yeah, that's all. Oh, they could kill the 5-5. Five, five. Hour of Glory. Not today. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, Too much, too much puppy love. I agree. Got some borks in chat. Bork, bork. Bork, 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 bork. Get him a puppy as a housewarming gift. Done. So I was playing some sort of weird deck. <laughs> Name the puppy Swazi. Chupacabra and stuff. Uh, don't want Galta in the Chupacabra matchup. I want a Blossoming Defense. I want another boat. Boat. That's probably fine. Sure. I like the boat. Just because a card's bad doesn't mean it doesn't win games sometimes, you know? It happens. Gorky! No land or else. It was fun while it lasted. It is not a sub only thing. No, there are, there are plenty of generic emotes also. Yes. Like these. Jim, Jim's a fan of Mr. Destructoid. Oh. Generic emotes. Keep. Gak with the host. <laughs> mm, thanks, Gak. Gak. Birthday host. Whirly Chainer Gobbers. <laughs> Point along, it's the five. Wow, that sucks, opponent. If only it was your birthday and you were really old, too. Nothing would really change. You probably still mold, mold the five. I, it, it's too bad, like, you couldn't be playing in, like, I wish we could take this heart of Kieran. God. 
feel like you've definitely played in, in tournaments on your birthday. Yeah, I almost won an invitation on my, on my, my birthday. Yeah. I lost the finals of the invitation on, on my birthday. You should play more on your birthday. The the what the first uh, event I ever went to the one in um Hartford or whatever no Providence, in Rhode Island, where you play blue white. Mm-hmm. You, you Platter cleansing. Four. Yeah, that one where you played against Ross, in top four. Stupid Ross. That I was that I was. Lost. I don't know if Saturday was your birthday or if it was Friday. That was when Matt came up and everything. Was that's true. It was your thirtieth. Oh yeah, that's great. That was the, that was the surprise party you had for me. That was yeah. awesome. That was before we left for Providence. Nicole had a surprise party for me, one of my favorite bars. It did, because Jim was very depressed that he was turning 30. It was, yeah, 30's bad. All right, so them using cast I mean, down I mean, on the mulligan to five on our servant with a conduit is dope. <laughs> Damn it, Ross. Ross is still here. There's no rich cards. He's not talking in chat. Ross, I am so happy that you're uh. here. I'm so glad you're here. You were playing. It was mono blue, right? That's I wish. What, I wish I was old enough that I forgot about the match. Did you? You like. You won that one, and then you lost in the finals of the next yeah, one, right? To, to, to re needle back Ross, he lost the finals the next day. Elves against Death and Taxes, the best matchup of all time. So ha. See, I didn't know that because that would have been my first event. Our I, I, like it was my literal first like event. And I just showed up and I didn't know what was going on or what I was doing. Hmm. Um, actually, the second day, I actually I didn't play anything because I only really kind of knew Standard at the time. So I ended up just, like, getting food all day. Like, I brought everybody back breakfast. Don't you remember? No, I, like, you, you mean I you got, got food for yourself all day. No, I didn't get food you for myself You gorged yourself all day. all day. Like, I, I brought you guys all Uno. I got, like, chicken parm and, like, pizza. Mm. And Ma Max uh, Teats was just like, this is the best I've ever eaten during a, a, a tournament ever. He's like, this is great. Because I would just bring you guys food. Because food's great. And then Love. we ate at Fire and Ice that night. Oh, Fire and Ice. <laughs> Fire and Ice is really good. I love Fire and Ice. Have Bronte you been my good luck charm this whole time? <laughs> Brontodon is uh, good against Verderous Gear Hulk, which is he annoying. <laughs> um, we're kind of close to, to fighting with Allosaur. He, like, one Wait, more Wait, have I been your good luck charm or has Jim been your good luck charm? <laughs> I'm not sure, but that was my that was my first that was my first open my first open experience. I almost won. Fire Ice is great, Ross. Shut your filthy mouth. I'm gonna I'm gonna play four Rishkars yeah, in my deck and then board them, them all out every round. Right out, right out, right out, Ross. You never shut your mouth. I got it. Never I know. Time. Got it. Never. <laughs> Our opponent's flooding. So we're almost to actually using Territorial Allosaurus to fight something. That's exciting. I feel like that should be the goal. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, actually. Play a lot of roles to say, yeah, we're not really... Like, our opponent cast Our Promise, fight, but, like, fight, didn't get Arch fight, of Orozco or anything, fight, so... Fight. And once we fight this Brontodon, we cast Gear Hulk and just win the game on the spot. Bobby Guapo and Ross Marion might be related. Hmm. <laughs> Fatal Sensation, Jim's never going away. It's his birthday. He's still going to win. You're still going to win, Jim. Stop uh -oh. it. Oh. You're still gonna win. Gonna kill our Brontodon? Alright. It's fine. We did it. Achievement unlocked. God damn it, you're another land. Fight. Round one. Fight. Would I trade? No, but I would try and trade a Kenra for a zombie. Because you can bring it back. Ripjaw don't fight. Ripjaw would be good if it fought, but no fight. 
Knights. No fighting for Now I get the Gear Hulk and attack for a million next turn, so it feels yeah. pretty good. I love attacking for a million. <sighs> You're still young. Don't worry. Stop worrying. I'm so old. Wow. That means they have another Varaska? Shit. What? They're sacrificing treasures? What are they casting? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> they all have menace too? Yeah. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> you should have pulled up their treasures when your bronze are done. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Clearly that's what I should have done. <laughs> this is great. Happy birthday, Jim. <laughs> uh eight and eight is sixteen. We can still win this game. Oh, that's her brother? Okay. What? That's Leona's brother. Yeah, she like killed him or something and then he died and came back. I don't know the story and stuff. Well, yeah, isn't she like... That's, uh, isn't that what she does? Isn't she like in that yeah, business? she's just mean. I don't so know. she killed him just to bring him back. She shouldn't have known. See, I thought it was like... Like her hubby or her dad. I had figured dad, honestly, but... I don't really have a good plan here. I mean, this kind of sucks that they have them, like, Bronson on or something. I guess we're just kind of... not in great shape, no matter what. Yeah, we're pretty dead. I feel like... Like the crew. Call me on my... Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That was fun. Fun game. That was fun. Didn't they all get a five that game or something? They did. I would have thought mana plus this card would be a good combination. Happy birthday, me. Happy birthday to me. Uh, yeah, still gonna just leave stuff. What's up, Med? At least, at least I'm at fifty. One of the guys on my hockey team is 51. Really? Yeah, he just turned, yeah, his birthday was like two days ago. Yeah? I have a birthday is hockey game. Is better than you? No. No. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> um, I have a hockey game to tomorrow night slash tonight on my birthday. Birthday hockey game. Birthday hockey game. Liliana? Yeah, I, I don't know about story stuff. She got All I know is Liliana Hierarchical Healer was a really confusing magic card. I tried too hard to be a story card. It's like, you do this, but you get that, but it gets a zombie, and then it flips over, and this happens, and gain two life, and just like, oh, the, too many the words. Flip ones? Yeah, like, it's just like, why does he, why do you yeah, gain two life and get a zombie? And, and it's just confusing. I don't know what a Faustian book is. I don't know either. Okay. Okay, cool. Sweet. Let's not tell anybody. Cool. Especially then. I think we're dumb. Once you're 50 plus, no one's allowed to check you on open ice anymore. Obscure hockey rule. Hmm. Oh, you keep your head up. Okay. Um, I mean, our curve here is pretty good. Mm hmm. I agree. They have Chupacabra. It's pretty annoying, but like. You got a turn. We could, like, we could have served and kept Blossoming Defense. Fine. Still catch your dinosaur. You might have been wrong. Think so? Just like you could have just waited and had a it's like Steel Champion's so good. And he blocks it. I guess. What's up, Eddie? I just figured that you I don't know. Four or five. So you we're... wanted to fight again? Yeah, we're one man off the fighting, so we also can guess this next turn. Sure. Which isn't great, but murder, murder dog. dog. <sighs> God damn it. Yeah, I might have been wrong. Steel Leaf Champion, just play it out Can we there. get a murder dog when you hit a thousand no. cells? Playing a 4-4 four, four is better than playing nothing, so we're going to do that. 
have four cards in hand. Good God. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? No. I'm old. You are old. I do you like this card? Name your new dog Murder Dog. <laughs> That's a good name. Murder Dog, stop peeing on the couch. <laughs> our dog, if our dog pees on the couch, it's, it's gonna dead. be about like a, like this little like five pound dog. Snap it, Murder snack. Dog. Oh God, here we go. Frasca. Hi, Frasca. We just like can't win. You can do it. No, we actually just can't win. How can't you win? How the fuck are we gonna win? Gonna, what do you mean? You're gonna do it. With Lano Ralphs? I don't know. Fight stuff. And then. They just have a removal spell. Whatever. What removal spell? Well, they just. I mean, they could have push here, but if they just untap and kill the 5 5, and they have a Raska, like, we just can't win. Oh my god. Alright. Alright. No fun? Not fun. No fun for the birthday boy. Not fun at all. This deck sucks. We're two and two. We're finishing this league out. That's how we do things here. But this deck kind of blows. Um, commit just doesn't seem doesn't seem good. All the cards are worse than the usual like mono green deck. This card sucks. This card just sucks. This deck just sucks. I love this. Worst deck we played by far. Um, I... West Coast green white deck was great. We played that one last match, last round or whatever. But I think it's actually really bad. It's funny because when you originally like looked over all the decks, you were just like, I don't know how Wesco does it. He just plays all these like, I mean, like and just does well. And then you played it, and you're like, wow, I'm surprised he didn't do even better. <laughs> yeah, that looked good to me. Look, you have two Lanarov. Two Lanarov, and a five five for four. Might as well be a vanilla five five for four. Somebody be negative. Splash River Goblin Sorry, Chamber. watch the blood pressure. I don't, I don't wanna I don't wanna overdo it here. Yeah. Monobot control also seemed bad. What are you gonna do though, you know? Like it's just a pro tour for thousands and thousands of dollars. Why play a good deck? I agree. Expects the Spanish Inquisition. Yes. Alright. Well we got a nice curve here, so. Yeah, you're tired. No. Have I'm you not been streaming all day? I'm not tired. Hour 11 of the stream? No, I've just been cleaning and cooking and taking care of a little boy. Oh, is that all? That's the it. dinner was good, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, they have Lennar Rolls too, huh? You think, you're, you think you're real cool? Once again, we have uh, you versus the guy she told you not to worry about. That was a fun tweet. I enjoyed that one. Ross has two little boys. Yes. Truth. Blastoderm had Shroud. Okay. Don't speak ill of Blastoderm on this stream. Blastoderm was a real magic card that had Shroud. Oh my god. I mean, we're going for the fight. Kill it. We are going for the fight. Say always yes, please. Always yes. Thank you. Roar. Did I play with Yvonne Flock's Simic Artifact deck? No, I, I played the Channel Fireball Blue Green Karn deck. That's the same deck. What? I guess it was more like mana efficient to do it that way. But like, if you had drawn a land, you could have. And, and had played Llanowar Elves instead of the Kenra. You would have been able to do that this turn. Not that I think it matters. But I want to attack for five. Yeah. Might have been wrong. I don't know. I don't know. You don't actually have any good fights anyway. Yeah, I didn't really think about any of this. I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. Um... Eddie, I don't know. I obviously didn't put any thought into it because I wasn't there, so. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, the blue-green Karn deck was cute. Um, it didn't seem great. It just seemed like a pretty cool, cute deck. It was pretty well built, but didn't seem like a... Didn't seem amazing. You could consider like mono black or something for a little bit too, or something. Like they just we talked about mono black. They just galt us next turn. Oh, that's kind of sucky. This card sucks. And then you can fight the fight the galt. Oh yeah, that's, that's a fun fight. <laughs> little dinosaur tries to bite galt in the leg. <laughs> right, it's stepped on. Nipping its ankles. Yeah. <laughs> Good fight. Um. Like, all these cards just suck. <laughs> I don't know if it's funnier because it's 12.30 in the morning or if that was just funny. Let's just see, go. Jim, Jim would have been on Bant's approach. Yeah. Pelucranos, see that card's a little better than this card. A little bit. World Eater. Yummy. Right? Yeah. I registered that card a few times. See, not even 11 hours. You've been saying 11 hours. I could. I don't even win. I want to just cast a stupid 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. Block. Like, all these cards are just aren't good. Like, Servant sucks. Kendra sucks. <laughs> okay. Trips. Okay. We didn't cast Galta once, either. Alright, I mean, we're dead. Cool. Didn't you side out Galta? This is game one of oh. match five. Oh. Sorry. I didn't realize. I don't know what's going on. That was fun. I had fun. Did you? No. I didn't. I was lying. I haven't even seen Galta, honestly. Except in, like, the hand that you mulliganed, because you had no lands. I think you had a Galta. Nature's Way, Nature's Way, Sky Sovereign, Galta. Commit. I can cut the, the Blossoming Defense, because they have no removal spells. Eddie says, cut. calling it now. Outsource is just dog shit. Mrs. Davis wins the next PT. Uh, yeah, sure. Who's Mrs. Davis? Uh. Not you. Yeah, not me. This deck is about as much fun as getting old. Uh. So as he go to hell. <laughs> I love you, but go to hell. No more leaks. That's We're done. That's for no, not tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stream tomorrow. I may be a, a silent stream, though. Just a uh, practice stream. I don't know. I got I to practice for this tournament. Yeah, but y'all are awesome, though, for reals. Happy to spend the first hour of my birthday with y'all. Thank you for all for following the stream and subscribing and being awesome. Me too. Yeah. You're right. If you haven't followed me on YouTube... Make sure you follow me on YouTube. If you haven't followed me on Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Metamucil? Yes, Metamucil for sure. Almost at 6,700 followers. You got in the, that, that Channel Fireball ad for... Perhaps today <laughs> is a good day to die. It's true. That was funny. <laughs> Aw, I love you too, Dark. We trust Spectre. so many... Like, Look at this ant. Do it. Look at this hand. Keep. What are we doing with our lives? Keep keeping this hand. I don't. I don't. I don't think this hand can actually win. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, I'm actually being realistic. Like, I don't think this hand can actually win. Like, yeah, I agree. So that, that shows you how bad that card is. We're playing bear, 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 or bear, bear, five, five. <laughs> well, the bear attacks for like two bears. Yeah, I mean, it attacks for four, and then I play five, five. But like, two bears. Well, like maybe opponent will. Things, I don't think the card qu quantity really matters in this matchup. I'm just a mulligan. I just want to land her off at a Galta. Alright. You might find one of those with your impulse. Lucky don't live on Andor. Holy 
Holy crap, dude. Galta. We need help for Galta. Elves. Boat, boat, elf. All right. Great. All right. I mean, I guess boat on turn four, I'm happy. You should be happy. Oh, well, they have Lander Rolfs every game on turn one. You're seeing you lucky. I like the other art. What? The one in between these ones. The one that's like the side facing one. What? The bottom one looks Happy weird. It looks weird. Day to me. Ugh. Pawn's got the nuts. Just gonna play my grizzly bear, I guess. Dumb bear. Give me sugar <laughs> and water. Thanks, Fallon. Um. What? It's a ballista. What? On two. Well, there go our hopes and dreams. You know they call eight rack eight rack. Why? So you know how they call it eight rack. We're gonna call this deck eight bear. So all it is is eight bears. We're nine. Oh, cool. Sure. So instead of eight bears, it's eight bears. What the hell is that? Garage. That's that one. <laughs> nice okay, time to go to bed. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Okay. This is probably one of the worst decks I've ever played. Like, Hi. no, I, obviously I'm hyperbolizing as I'm streaming and stuff, but like, that, this deck was actually unbelievably bad. I can't believe how bad this deck is. Um, just, there's so many cards that are individually unpowerful, un, not powerful, unpowered, not powerful. Just eight Grizzly Bears. Nothing Cruise Heart of Kieran. <laughs> like... This card doesn't do anything. It's just a 5-5 five, five for 4. There's one Verter Skier Hulk. This deck, this is... The the, the thing that makes the, the Steel Leaf Stompy decks good is that they come out really fast, they hit really hard, and they put a lot of power in play in the first few turns of the game. This deck does not do that. I mean, I get it. Dominic went 8-2 at this deck at the Pro Tour. I mean, Kane won the Pro Tour with that Terrible Miracles deck. You know, like... It happens. You know, like... So yeah. now tell us how you really feel. Yeah, so... I would suggest not playing this deck in any tournament. Um, commit was pretty awful. Worse than villainous one. Yeah. Just, just bad. Just bad. Um, maybe, obviously, if you should go Steel Leaf turn two every game, you're going to win a lot of games, but... Like, the, the good cards are still good. Lenor Elves, Heart of Kieran, Steel Leaf, Bronadon... Galta, these cards are still good, but the the middle cards, like the the fillery cards, are just atrociously bad. Uh, yeah, so um, definitely the worst deck we played all day. I would give this uh, deck two green thumbs down. But yeah, so paint six four constructed and six I was limited at that PT. Right. Oh, well, yeah, that's the thing, Ross. That happens. You know, like Haynes' deck wasn't great, but he. 6 0 draft, 6 4 constructed, and then ran, you know, ran well and played well in top eight, you know, so. I mean, that used to happen like the invitationals and stuff too, and standard and modern, and you just have a better modern record. Same thing. Yeah. Top eight, and she's right. like, well, top eight standard, and right. my standard deck wasn't where, is where I got all three of my losses, right. you know. So, but alright, yeah. That's the deck. Watch it on YouTube. Thanks for watching, everyone. It's my birthday. Follow the channel. I'm old. 
And uh, thanks for watching on YouTube. Make sure you follow the channel. We'll see you guys next time. More videos coming up.